Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. In this session, we are diving into a crucial aspect of the Scrum framework, the product roadmap. But before we jump into that, let's clear up some common sources of confusion. Today, I will break down the differences between the product vision, product strategy, product roadmap, and product backlog in Scrum environment. A product roadmap is a high-level visual summary that maps out the vision and direction of your product offering over time. A product roadmap communicates the why and the what behind what you are building. A roadmap is a guiding strategic document, as well as a plan for executing the product strategy. Product vision. Think of the product vision as the North Star. It's like the grand dream or ultimate goal we are have for our product. Imagine you are on a road trip and the vision is your destination. It's not just about specific turns you will make, but it guides the entire journey. Product strategy. Now the product strategy is like our roadmap for the journey. It's the plan we come up with to reach that destination. It outlines the major routes we will take the places we want to visit along the way, and maybe even the type of car we'll drive. It's a bit more detailed than the vision, giving us a strategic plan to follow. All right, imagine you've got this cool interactive map with the key points marked on it. The product roadmap is like that map. It's a visual guide that shows the significant stops on our journey, giving us a timeline of when we will reach each one. It helps us communicate to others saying, here is where we are going and here is when we will get there. Now, let's talk about the nitty gritty details, the product backlog. It's like your to-do list for the trip. It's where you jot down all the tasks and items you need to take care of. Need to book a hotel? Add it to the backlog. Want to try that famous roadside dinner? backlog. It's your working list of things to do and things to build, focusing on the next immediate steps to reach that next point on the roadmap. So to sum up, the vision is our destination, the strategy is our overall plan, the roadmap is our visual guide, and the backlog is our to-do list for the journey. Together, they keep us on track in the Scrum environment, ensuring we are not only know where we are going, but also how to get there step by step. In the last video, we discussed how you can create a powerful product strategy. If you missed this video, make sure you go and watch it. Okay? Now it's time to cover the product roadmap. It has several ultimate goals. Describe the vision and strategy. Provide guiding documents for executing the strategy. And get internal stakeholders in alignment. Ideally, your product roadmap should convey the strategic direction for your product. And it should also tie back to the strategy for the company. Within that framework, it is the general order of what you will building. Clearly articulating the product vision and strategy can make it easier to secure executive buy-in. It also ensures that everyone is working toward a common goal. Updating existing roadmap has its own set of challenges. Creating one from scratch is a tall order for any product owner. There's so much to include, it's hard to know where to start. And this video should help you understand what to concentrate on first regarding the product's reason for existing at all. So, why are we building this product? What are we hoping to accomplish? How will this help users? Answering these questions, which are hopefully already answered before the organization decide to build a product at all, it places the focus on what's most important. There will always be more things to the product can do and better ways to do it, but a baseline set of functionality must exist even to begin fulfilling the expectations set with the questions above. 
Take it from the top. One method for focusing on a big picture strategy instead of getting lost in seas of uh, feature specific and implementation details is to adopt a top-down product planning approach. This process starts with a crystal clear understanding of the product vision. If you are creating a roadmap, it's helpful to know where you want to end up. As the products evolve, they inevitably become more complex. They're expected to do more to serve additional cohorts to integrate with other products and services. Product roadmaps also go through evolution of their own. A roadmap for a freshly minted MVP differs significantly for a mature product for many upfronts. Prediction number one. Startups have a much harder time predicting future requirements and opportunities for the products, and therefore their roadmaps probably won't go too far in the future, or if they do, it's with some very large asterisks. Established products can make um, firmer long-term plans. They have a better understanding of their customers and the market. Number two, frequency. When you are young and scrappy, you need to always be shipping. More mature products can space out their releases with less urgency. Dependencies. Startups can more move quickly and break stuff. Mature products have legacy to worry about, third-party integration to maintain and regression issues to contend with. Goals. The goals of a startup differ significantly from those of an enterprise product. The startup is primarily focusing on establishing its visibility, gaining traction, and fostering growth. In contrast, the enterprise products encompasses more nuanced strategies, objectives, and the broader range of targets. In the age of agile development, a roadmap has becoming a more of a living document. The roadmaps have far shorter time frames and need more frequent adjustments to accommodate changing priorities and market opportunities. And agile roadmaps make a look a little different from more traditional single or multi-product ones. Keeping a roadmap current is one of the biggest secrets to success. An outdated roadmap only leads to confusion and false expectations. Now, how to present your roadmap in four simple steps. Creating and maintaining roadmaps takes a lot of effort and attention to detail. However, all the hard work may be in the way in the, if the presentation of the final product doesn't go well. To make sure our roadmap is a well-received, product managers must lay the groundwork for success. Know your audience. Beyond tailoring the roadmap to the titles and roles of the crowd, product teams should understand their motivations, concerns, and hot-button issues. If the presenter doesn't address potential concerns proactively, either within the roadmap or by responding to comments during the presentation, these issues are likely to be raised later, putting the presenter on the defensive. It's advisable to anticipate and address these matters in advance, demonstrating preparedness and preventing the discussion from, take, from taking a negative turn. Even better is previewing the roadmap with the crucial decision makers ahead of a time, getting them on board and addressing their potential issues before the formal presentation can smooth the path for approval and buying. Number two. Focus on the narrative storytelling is a crucial aspect of effective product management, and there is no better occasion to channel your inner Mark Twain than during a roadmap presentation, offering context, anecdotes, and sources of inspiration not only puts the audience at ease, but also showcases the depth of thought and consideration invested in the process. Number three. Stay high level in a roadmap presentation is spending most of its time discussing individual features. Things have already gone off the rails. The strategy, goals, and themes are the key messages to convey. 
Specific features of implementation are details that shouldn't matter to stakeholders, as long as the results is achievably achieving objective. Number four, add some metrics to the message. Everything in our data-driven world must be measurable, and roadmaps aren't spared. The items on our roadmap should be improving the metrics, the organization values, and moving KPIs in a positive direction. When there is a meaningful measurable outcome for a particular initiative, it's a fast easier to gain support than discussing vague and abstract endpoints. In conclusion, a product roadmap is a crucial tool for guiding the development of a product using the Scrum framework. It visually communicates the product vision and strategy, laying out the timeline of when key features and milestones will be reached. Creating a effective roadmap requires starting with a big picture product vision, then breaking things down into strategic themes and initiatives. The roadmap should be reviewed and updated frequently as priorities shift. When presenting a roadmap, focus on the overreaching narrative. Make sure to address any concerns stakeholders may have and relate each of them back to the business metrics and KPIs. Follow these best practices for building and sharing a product roadmap will align your team and stakeholders on the why behind what you are building and the path to get there. And that's it for this video. If you found this overview of product roadmap useful, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more product management videos. You can also check the video description for links to helpful roadmapping resources. Thanks for watching and see you next time.